Now to another side of the mandate debate. In Morgan County, there is a push to prevent mask and vaccine requirements before they start. WRTV's Amber Grigley spoke to a civic leader and community member who explained why they are against certain COVID-related mandates. Ben Merida is the first deputy clerk for the city of Martinsville. He is not an elected official, but he shared his idea during Monday night's city council meeting. I requested the city council to pass an ordinance that would uh, just uh, make it uh, a non-vaccine, non-mask mandate ordinance. So basically just to uh, prohibit mask or vaccine mandates within the city limits. Merida says his proposal received mixed reactions, but he's confident that this was the right thing to do. Just these mandates coming out, really all they're accomplishing are a lot of division. You know, um, people are losing their jobs because they don't want to get a vaccine that they don't believe in. And uh, it should be it should be the personal choice of that person. You know, it should be an individual decision, not not a mandate. I just don't think that we should be forced to get a vaccination if we don't believe that it's right for us or right for us right now. After talking to Merida, I met with Caitlin Decker, a mom of two who was for Merida's proposal and worked in Bloomington. She says she's breastfeeding her nine month old daughter and her doctor told her not to get the vaccine just yet because she's nursing. But a vaccine mandate in place at her job requiring employees to be vaccinated forced her to make a hard decision. It put me in a really tough position because it's like, do I want to keep my job or do I want to continue nursing my daughter? Um, and so I actually ended up leaving that job. Honestly, I probably should have started it earlier, um, but you think, see things kind of escalating very quickly right now. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see how the process plays out. Um, I'm just pleased that they're considering it. Now Merida hopes his idea gets the right push by the next city council meeting on September 27th. I did reach out to the mayor's office today to kind of see where they are at right now in this proposal. I was told so far there has only been a discussion and no formal action has been taken to ban mask or vaccine mandates. Working for you, I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. According to the State Department of Health, about 47% of people 12 and older in the Martinsville zip code are fully vaccinated. Right now, Morgan County is at a level 2.5 advisory. The county's seven-day positivity rate is almost 13% higher than the state's overall rate.